As part of 3D printing and cosplay, we are all looking for faster ways to print, but still retaining decent quality. Well, Chef released his Filament Friday Extra Fast Cura Profile, so I decided to test it out on these Moon Knight shoulder pieces to see if they could be printed any faster while still retaining the same amount of detail. Let's take a look. Hi, Tracy here from Astrocyte Cosplay. So I printed this first piece with fairly standard 0.28 Cura settings that I normally use. When sliced in Cura, it estimated six hours and 46 minutes. This second piece, I used Chep's Filament Friday Extra Fast Profile, which he claimed could print two and a half times faster than his regular profile. I tried to keep a lot of the settings of mine similar between my profiles to get a true quality comparison, such as the line count at three, temps, infill densities, and pattern. When sliced, it estimated three hours and 39 minutes. So three hours and seven minutes faster, which is a significant improvement. My question then was, what was the quality going to be like in comparison? Here are the two prints side by side. Can you tell which one was printed faster? Let me know in the comments which one you think was the faster print, A or B. To be honest, I was actually really impressed with the quality. They were very, very comparable. And given that it took half the time to print, well, that's pretty impressive, right? However, there were a couple of things that I did notice with the faster profile. So this piece here that I printed with the faster profile did have some of its supports fail. It didn't affect the print finishing at all, but you do start to run that risk if your supports are starting to fail. Now, Chep uses a zigzag pattern of 20% infill. I used a line pattern of 5% as I have been having some trouble with the supports coming off the models. So if you are going to use this profile all the time, you may need to look at maybe slowing down the support speed printing or actually going back to what Chep's using and using zigzag with a higher infill. The second thing was that my extruder started skipping throughout the print, which it doesn't normally do. Now I believe that it was just trying to print so fast that my normal print temp of 205 just wasn't hot enough to melt that filament quick enough. So I did up the temp to 210 throughout the sprint and that did seem to help the problem. So if you were going to use this profile all the time, you would probably need to tweak your temp settings just so that you get that right temp happening and also that you don't get any clogs. These Moon Knight shoulder pieces do not have any detail, so I think they're the perfect type of piece for this faster profile. If you have a more detailed piece, I don't know if it would be the best idea, but what else can I say? It printed in half the time and there's not a massive difference in the quality. Now, there may need a few tweaks with the profile, but I'm impressed. So I will leave a link in the description below to Chep's video and instructions on how to use the profile if you wanna check it out for yourself. So if you need some help with sizing your armor, make sure you check out this video to help with some tips on scaling those helmets and armor pieces.